expect your input to help shape the future of the peninsula over the next 10 to 20 years. Today is the first of two community open house meetings where you'll get to share your thoughts. Live Five's Destiny Kennedy is live this morning in Charleston at the International Longshoremen's Association where that meeting is going to take place. So Destiny, what does the community need to know about what's happening today? Good morning. Good morning, Katie and Shelby. These meetings are all about giving the community a say and providing transparency with the future planning of the peninsula. Some of the focus areas the community can look forward to includes mobility, which focuses on the streets and how the city can improve people's ability to get around safely and efficiently. Neighborhood designs for current and future developments in the next few years, plus looking at how water is not only a hazard to the city, but how it also also benefits the community. I'm told the city also wants to look into economic development to support a resilient and equitable economic ecosystem going forward. These open house gatherings are right here at the International Longshoremen Association Local 1422. The first event is happening today from 6 to 9 p.m. and the second is scheduled for Thursday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Senior planner for the city of Charleston, Chloe Stuber, says the city will help guide attendees at the meeting but looks forward to hearing their concerns and hopes. There will be prompts there at the events, so when people enter the space, they'll have the opportunity to um, go around to different stations. There will be questions they can respond to, but also if they have ideas or questions or comments that you know, aren't being asked about, we encourage folks to bring um, all of their experiences, their stories, their questions, their ideas, their dreams. Um, we want to hear it all. Everyone is welcome and no RSVP is required. Reporting live in Charleston, Destiny Kennedy, 5-5 News.